Look, I, I got to be honest with you. I, I saw Tim Walsh a couple days ago in Las Vegas, Nevada. We were both we were both arriving in beautiful Las Vegas airport at the exact same time. And you know, I actually feel bad for Governor Tim Walsh if I'm being honest with you. Because think about this: he's got the toughest job in American politics. You know, may, maybe one of the toughest jobs in America. Period. He's got to go around the United States of America and pretend that Kamala Harris is fit to be president of the United States. And I know. Look, think about it. I know a lot of us have had hard days at work, our, our hands hurt, our backs are tired, but have you ever had the kind of day where you had to tell people that Kamala Harris was able to be the President of the United States? That's, that's tough work, my friends. But here's the thing, you know, we don't have to guess at what Kamala Harris's leadership is going to be like. We don't have to pretend that the slogans and what she says with a teleprompter in front of her is the reality. We know exactly what Kamala Harris is going to do because she's already been doing it for the last four years. And what is the consequence of Kamala Harris's leadership? What does Tim Walz have to go around America and pretend that Kamala Harris has been doing? Well, we know. We know that thanks to Kamala Harris and trillions of dollars of new spending, our fellow citizens can't afford to buy groceries. The gas prices are up by 45 percent. Did you see the jobs report that came out just a couple of days ago? 28,000 private sector jobs that we lost. 46,000 American manufacturing jobs lost in the United States of America. But you know who actually, who you know, the only category where we gained employment was the government. So under Kamala Harris's economy, our good, hardworking Michigan citizens they're losing their jobs. Our great Michigan auto workers are losing their jobs. But Kamala Harris's government bureaucrats are doing just fine. And look. I don't wish unemployment on anybody. I know it's terribly stressful to lose a job, but the one person that I think that we're going to make unemployed tomorrow is Kamala Harris because we don't want her anywhere near the Oval Office. So say a prayer if you if you're a praying type. Say a prayer for Tim Walz because he's got the toughest job in American politics. And meanwhile got the easiest job in American politics because think about this I don't just have to tell you about Donald Trump's plans even though we've got a lot of great plans I just have to talk about the record of Donald J Trump in office when Donald Trump was in office inflation was at 1.5 percent the dollar went as far as it's ever gone in the United States of America when Donald J Trump was president, wages were rising faster than they had in 40 years in the United States of America. And when Donald J Trump was president, the border was secure and the Mexican drug cartels were on the run. That's a hell of a record to run on. So I've, I've got the easiest job. I've just got to try to convince our fellow citizens all over the state of Michigan, all over the United States of America, that if we get back to the common sense policies of Donald J. Trump, we can get back to the peace and prosperity of that leadership. But I do believe, my friends, that we are on the cusp of a golden age of American prosperity. We're on the cusp of an America where we're not just energy independent, but we're energy dominant. We're on the cusp. We're ready to make the American dream of home ownership affordable for millions of young Americans all over the state of Michigan and all over America. But the thing that we've got to do, the only thing that we can do to unleash that golden age of American prosperity is to get Donald J. Trump back in the White House. So let's go and do it and let's do it together.